Good morning, Modern Setters. This morning, we're gonna be home curing some pasture-raised bacon. We were asked to do a review on the Avalon Bay 300S Food Saver. Said, why not? We could use a vacuum sealer for making bacon, but what's in it for the Modern Setters? And they gave us a 15% off coupon code. Ready to make some bacon? Yeah. Awesome. All right, so our bacon slab weighs 1,118 grams. Can you write that down? We're gonna make cure the bacon into a math lesson. Okay. So we gotta figure out percentage. So we need two and a, two and a quarter percent salt. So what you need to do on the calculator, put the weight of the pork belly in, 1,118. So we need 25 grams of salt. And then we need 5% maple syrup. So can you figure out how to do that again? So we'll say 56 grams and then on the black pepper we need 0.2 percent. So two grams. Awesome. Now we gotta get all that weighed out. Do you want to put the cure on? Sure. All right. Then we put the oh yeah, we have to put the syrup on. Now. Put the syrup on it. It's in the bag. So I need you to dump it take on. the fork. Dump it on. Dump it on. Yep. And then we're gonna rub it all over it. Dump all of it in. Yep. Right on the top. Perfect. And then Adam. rub it all over it. Yep. Even the sides. Last time we cured our bacon, we used Ziploc bags. This time we're going to be using the Avalon Bay 300S Food Saver with their BPA-free bags. Just going to put the bacon in. And then I'm going to try to get the rest of this cure out and into the bag. Because we're curing the bacon using the equilibrium method, so we want to make sure that all the salt and pepper, whatever you're using for a cure, is in the bag. The nice part about using the food saver is it's going to vacuum seal it and it's going to suck the cure right into the bacon. We're not going to have to be flipping it over every day. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. All right, you know what to do, don't you? Yeah. Okay. I'll let you do all the hard work. Can you push it down? Yep. You're going to push it down until both ends click. And then, what are you going to do? You're going to hit the vacuum and seal button. Awesome. So you want to make sure your food is either on dry or moist. For our bacon, we have maple syrup in there, so we had it on moist. And we also hit seal only afterwards to make sure we had a good seal. You ready to take it out? Mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. Delicious. What are your thoughts on the Avalon Bay Food Saver 300S, Olivia? I like it. You like it? Yeah. It works awesome. We're having a liquid of maple syrup in with our bacon when we were sealing it. We had to have it on moist for food. And we had to seal it twice. No, we had to vacuum and seal it twice and then seal it also because the maple syrup was coming out yeah. and it wasn't melting the bag together. But that's just because we have it loaded with bacon and syrup. But all of that, the bag worked awesome. When we were playing with it earlier and just sealing up some Christmas ornaments to try it, it worked really good. So I'm happy with it. We got our bacon curing. We're gonna put this in the fridge for 10 days. The fridge? The downstairs fridge. Okay. We'll stick it in the fridge for 10 days and we don't have to flip it every day as if we had it in a Ziploc bag. We'd have to flip it over. This is sealed up nice and tight and it's sucking all the cure in through the bacon. So in 10 days we get to smoke this in the cold smoker and then slice it and eat it. 
So if you want to know more about the food saver, you'll have to come back in 10 days when we're smoking our bacon. We were asked to do a review on the Avalon Bay 300S food saver. Said why not? We could use a vacuum sealer for making bacon, but what's in it for the modern steaders? And they gave us a 15% off coupon code. I'm gonna leave all that information down in the video description. They'll have the link for the website and the promo code. The promo code is gonna be Lumna. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm looking forward to enjoying some more bacon. You? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. Awesome. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres. A guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. Bye.